Hello friends and welcome to a new Let's Play with Lord Cucumber. Let's play Tropico 3! Yes, I made that sound totally dorkish, but alright. Um, this is going to be a short introduction as I only have so much time this morning. Uh, it's 7.58 here and I have to go to work in well, a little less than 45 minutes. So, I only have so much time. Uh, but I will be making a character. Mm -hmm. Will not be doing housekeeping because he has personnel for that. All right, let's do it. Get people to work for him. He is El Presidente. For anyone who doesn't know this game, I'm, I'm gonna game. I'm gonna <coughs> be uh, telling you all about it. Tropico 3 is basically Sim City on a tropical island in the 50s with you as a dictator. Yes, you heard me right. You get to be like Fidel Castro uh, or um, any Banana Republic dictator you could think of. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. See, here he is. This is one of the characters you could make. Okay. All right. Now I like. I don't like the classic campaign. There are s several islands you can go by with a specific challenge. I like the sandbox mode. Why? Because it has the most basic challenge of all, which is survival. Survival is uh, is, is a lot of fun in this game. Um, yeah, just seeing if you make it to the end of a game is actually a challenge in itself. Because, um, like real world dictators, and uh, like uh, we've seen in the past few uh, past few days and, and weeks, um, you get competition, uh, political po competition. People who really, really want to vote you out, uh, who want to democracy. All right, let's generate an island. So that's your biggest threat. Democracy is actually your is a, is a threat in this game. Funnily enough. I don't like islands with holes in it. And yeah, this looks alright, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So you can generate your own island, and it's now difficult, difficulty moderate, uh, but you can also make it very hard by making it a really small island, really high. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna have a difficulty moderate island. Um. yeah. So you can get to tweak the difficulty. Political stability, I'm gonna keep it somewhat stable. We want to have some challenge, at least. World economy is not going to help us much. Um, tourism is also not going to help us much. I guess we're gonna, we can just sort of pull this back a little further. There we go. Political stability can stay there. <laughs> I don't want too much rebellion in my country. Re rebels are also a factor you have to keep into account. So, Population is now 55. Ah, let's make them 50. There we go. Random events. I like them rare very rare indeed yeah I like my random events rare please with not too much sauce okay I'm just gonna set my timer on my phone here hold on why do I do this I have no idea I've never used it oh wait there it is I have this great little Google phone so <coughs> and just half an hour thank you timer okay so if we hear the timer we are done, which is in about half an hour. Okay, and then th these things are basically um, to uh, to set your challenge. Now I'm gonna set free elections on because I'm gonna play an asshole who wants to stay in power. Sound familiar? <coughs> Maybe. Anyway, in North a I'm sorry, in North Africa they know all about it. Um, all these other things have effects on the game. Rebel Yell has the effect of increased rebellion. A faraway place has increased effect on um, uh, limiting the ability to take on people from the outside. Uh, in fact, nobody comes to your island uh, immigrating. A uh, prominent faction is probably one uh, faction that really wants all your attention while well, everyone else just does as well, and which is already annoying, so we're not going to do that. God mode, we're not going to do that, obviously. And immigrants out, and you receive no free immigrants. So, oh wait, that's the other, that's that's the one with the immigrants. This is the one with tourism. 
tourism is just not there. Well, but we're going to go for free elections. 139%. Believe me, I've done worse. Right, now you can pick an avatar from any of these people. All these, uh, yeah, these people who, uh, who actually were dictators are there. But we're going to go for a custom avatar. A custom avatar? Yes, that is right. Oh, I like this. I made this before. Maybe we should just give him a little less... Um, let's see. Okay. So, yeah, you could be a traditional guy. I don't like that. What's this? Kingpin? No. Oh, God. Elvis? No. No, not Bouncer either. Casual. Greaser. El Conger? No. Admiral? No. Tuxedo? No. Pirates? Definitely no. General? Yeah, let's make him a classic. Tropico General. There we go. With the 45 sticking through his belt. Yes, I like this. Okay, we'll call him El Cucombrero. Generalissimo. I like this. I'm g I used this last time when I played. Um, I tried to record yesterday. It didn't work very well because I. That was incredibly funny. I got an island where my docks, the most important part of the island to actually export stuff, was on a separate little island that I couldn't connect to my mainland. Yeah, it, it made for a very interesting gaming. Because I couldn't do anything. Nothing! Anyway. Okay, so it's, um, you can, uh, when you build these guys, you can, um, you, you can pick a background. In this case, I picked Generalissimo, uh, which will give me uh, some bonuses and uh, and, um, and extra flaws with certain factions. Um, my militarists like me, my nationalists like me. The liberty just goes down. People with less liberty are, are more prone to go rebellious, or at least unhappy. And my soldiers have more experience, so that's wonderful. All right, I rise, I rise, my rise to power. <coughs> Uh, was a velvet revolution, but I could have could have been installed by the CIA. I could have been elected. Anything, religious appointment, anything could have happened. This is all. This all has effects on. Uh, yeah, on 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 people on the island and how they think about you. Um, that liberty uh, thing that went down and goes up through this thing again. So that's great. And evens out. And I've got some intellectual factions, respect, U.S. relations are higher, and it's perfect. I'm a hard-working guy, plus 10% overall production. I'm a patriot. The nationalists really like me. I'm a nationalist, I guess. And, but I am also paranoid. You know. And I'm also a compulsive liar. You know. Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do it. El Cucumbrero is ready. Checking the time here. Okay. It's loading the island. There we go. Good morning, Tropico. Oh, I am Juanito, and this is Tropical News Today, keeping a finger on the pulse of the nation. Stay tuned to DNT for the best music and the most optimistic news. Yeah, you know what? Optimistic news is great. I'm gonna turn down your volume. There we go. I hope this works. Seriously, hope this works. There we go. Alright. God, I hope this music isn't too loud. Ah, it's loud for me, so I'm just gonna turn it down a little. There we go. This will do, I guess. Okay, so I seriously hope you can still hear me. Okay, what do we got? We've got. You know what? Music. Shut up for a moment. Here we go. Nice and quiet. Um. Okay. Um. <coughs> so we've got the docks. Most important building in in, in here. Because it's going to transport all the stuff that we produce on our island that makes money somewhere else. 
and this is our city center. We've got a construction office where people work. You see that the arrows point to people that actually work at those buildings. Like for instance this girl here. Excelencia. It's uh, Annabella Vega. She's a builder. And um, let's see, who else is, is working there? Here at the shack. Buenas tardes. Lots of ladies. Bernicia Vega. Oh, it must be family. Buenos días. And Marquita Lopez. Do we have any guys working as construction? No. Uh, it looks like they're all ladies except for two. Where's the other guys? Where are they? Oh, there's just ladies working. That's so typical. Um. No, wait. No, here's a guy. No me interesa. Tomas Alvarez. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, we've got a farm here that produces food. We need food, obviously, for for um, the purpose of feeding people. They produce corn. And I've got another corn farm right here. And we're going to switch. That's the first thing we're going to do. Switch to something else here to increase the food quality. Because papayas will also grow here. Oh, wait. We could better make this corn and this one papaya. One of them is going to switch to... Oh, Papaya. Papaya! Because food quality means quality of living. Yes, that's right. Alright, let's see if we can build another farm. Um, generally, when you used to play this game, uh, make sure you have as much uh, variety in food as you possibly can. Uh, this this keeps people happy in, in the most basic sense. Okay, so... I'm also considering building this, but maybe not now. Okay, ah, I'm sorry. Now the housing here is appalling. They've got these nice little bunk houses, which are great, but I mean, come on, it's 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 a little terrible. Let's build. A, let's just start with a road, a road to our docks, because right now there's no connection to our docks and we do need that hold on for some reason I my money has already dropped I don't know oh yeah let's um, let's go to policies and adopt a policy that will um, hmm, let's see give us some money when we build stuff yeah yeah this is uh, corruption a special bu building permit you can actually do that and I want to be rich by the end of this game and I want my people to be normal by the end of this game. So, okay, so this this is useless. Okay, I'm just gonna switch around like so. Making a making a road to the to over here now. There we go. Because this this area here is gonna be useless anyway. Might as well make a road next to it leading to the coast there we go there we are so like so like thus yay we made a road okay so that's great wonderful el cucumbrero is happy Okay, I'm just going to make a road over here as well. So, there we are. Invest in some infrastructure. And let's give them an apartment block. With normal maintenance. Let's see. This is the front of the apartment block. Let's give them somewhere to live, shall we? Yeah. Wonderful. Alright. I'm gonna build a garage here, I guess. We need a garage. Do we do? Yes, we do. We actually do. And there we are. One garage coming right up. Okay. And then we need extra farms because we do need stuff to actually produce money for us. Now, farming <coughs> is your basic. Uh, pick the right spot for the right stuff and then coffee coffee does well tobacco occasionally does well it really depends on where you build 
for instance this corner has some good tobacco country sugar sugar does well holy mother okay I like this place we built a sugar farm here maybe we should go for sugar in this game sugar really does well uh, okay that's one these are all just plants we got papaya do we have pineapple we do actually we have pineapple okay let's build a pineapple farm right here right here at the corner there we go and we can we could build another a marketplace right there on the corner okay let's run run it amazing and I want these to be done first because we need the manes <coughs> and this one last there we go and this one we don't need it yet okay now people from the construction agency will drive there or walk there depending on how far they have to go and um, yeah I'm gonna go to one of the construction sites not fear. Oh, I just boosted the production of my farm. That's awesome. That's wonderful. Okay. So where are these guys? Oh, they're going. Yeah, they're going. I'm gonna head with my little avatar here to the farm. Hello, farm. Hello. Oh, look, he's he's scooping up the ground, building. Yes, yes, they are finishing the farm. Here they go. I'm just gonna say, oh, you're doing a great job. I'm just gonna really make sure you guys work harder. Because otherwise you'll get shot. Yeah, work. Work into the night, you dumbasses. There we go. It's always um. all work and no play for President Day. Exacto mundo. Okay, I'm gonna turn up music again. Hopefully... <coughs> there we go. Do, 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 do. Ah, the first money has gone to my Swiss account. Wonderful. Yeah, da, de, da, de. Where am I? Oh, I'm over there. Yeah, I'm busy ruling, baby. Yeah, baby, yeah. Increased construction speed. Amigos. Back to work again. Yeah, I'm going everywhere. <laughs> All right. And we're at minus 398. That's great. Fantastico. Oh, they made sand roads out of it. Look. For some reason, I don't know. I guess there's not many people living here, eh? Eh? Go on. Go on. The shadows look really weird. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do it like this, man. Like, yeah, do it like that. Use your hammer. No, not your lunchbox. Absolutely no idea how I would do this. Okay, our treasury balance is negative at the moment. And, uh. And today I'm furious. According to trustworthy sources from the palace, you're furious. Is as dry and empty as the Sahara Desert. And President should be reminded that he needs to stop wasting our tax money on buying cars and apartments for his concubines. Juanito will try to tell you otherwise, but believe me, we're broke. Remember, you learned it here first. Yeah, whatever. Seriously, man. I have absolutely nothing to say to you, you silly girl. You're worse than Juanito. Who does my own radio show, man. Okay. Alright. Just checking what happened. No exports on board. Oh boy. We're doing great. Don't worry. That negative spiraling will end in January of the next year. Which is probably... Where we're gonna end up. Very likely. Okay. 
All right, is this done yet? Are we? Are we where are my construction people? Oh. Okay, I better go there. Never fear. President is here. Why is there nobody in this place? Building my building. Damn nuggets. Get going. I'm going there. I'm, I'm angry. Play. Oh yeah, I better keep my people happy by paying them. Correcto mundo. Ah, wait. The almanac. Hmm. Well, that didn't go too bad. And we got some money again. Yay, money. Alright. You can also control the wages of what people earn. Which is pretty neat. I guess I could just look up everyone's uh, salary here. For all ed uneducated workers to six dollars instead of five. I'm just gonna give these guys, give all them. There we go, and then an, ex an extra dollar for my guard, obviously. Okay, there we are. We finishing it now, man. We need to make money, a lot more money. We have money for a cl clinic? I don't think so. We do. We do actually need to create some <laughs> some social um, stuff. How uh, expensive is it? No, I want to know how expensive it is. Clinic, thirty-six hundred dollars. <laughs> That's great. We can't afford it. Well, we can, but then we go bankrupt in almost immediately. All right, so uh, yeah. How about that fisherman's wharf? That might, might be a good idea. Yeah. Orle! Oh, that one was also quite expensive. Whoops. Oh well. It happens. There we go. Everyone shall work. I would have everyone working. Is that thing done yet? Okay. Finally. Plus 500 to the Swiss bank account. Wonderful. That's great. Oh man, this is terrible. Do we have anything that's going out? Nothing. <coughs> oh boy. Not a thing. I should have kept my money. But well. Alright, I think I'm gonna boost production here. El production. Yeah, four relations are gonna go down for a while. Breaking news! El Presidente survived the 18th attempt on his life this morning, <laughs> finding some glass in his soup. Free traffickers demand immediate thorough investigations. I remember, I'm paranoid. Yay! I think we've got the first exports. Yes, we do. Expected revenue, 20! Oh, that'll cover that 1300 1400 dollars that we have. Quite well. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dee 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 dee. Come on, man. Where am I? Speak fast. I don't have all day. You don't have all day. I don't have all, all day either. Guess what? It's always all work and no play for President Day. Yeah, always all all work and no nothing else either. <laughs> for El Presidente. <laughs> Come on, finish it. Finish it. I only have nine minutes left. Wait, they have no crops. How do they have no crops? You've got like the perfect land here, man. Sheesh. Oh well. Alright. We've got a garage now. I like having garages. Garages are good. I need fish though. 
many new fish. Fish in the water. I think I'm gonna make a little apartment here once I get a chance. And I just seriously hope that this is gonna yield some money. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I already... Oh, 277 worth of Tropic and Dudes. Yay, that's 10% of our debt. Wow. So gonna help. I'm gonna hold on to my money for a little while. Maybe build some small housing, I don't know. I'm just glad these people uh, have somewhere to live. Oh wait, these people don't even have somewhere to live. They're Why the heck do only two people live here? It's not that expensive. Dumbasses. Oh well. Seriously, what? Okay. Okay, I see a problem there. A problem we can fix. 1900s. Now that's more like it. That's half of the debt I'm running. Mm -hmm. Any ships coming in? Do we see any ships? No, none. Okay. No worries. And yeah, better fix that garage thing up because this is taking too long. What, what's this? How much is it? Oh, good. That's wonderful. Yeah, I know there's no high school. How long shall we pay overrated bills because we do not know basic math? How long will the comic books be the standard of high literature in tropical? Forever. How long shall the people live in ignorance and poverty of the mind? Starting today, I will count every day without a high school on the island. You're, you're gonna count days? Are you sure you can do that? Because, like, it's gonna be very hard for you to count. To actually count something. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this money until this happens. I just hope do people work here? Yes they do. Wonderful. Oh this is this is great. Wow. Okay, so now we've got five thousand dollars. Hmm what do we do with our five thousand dollars? I guess we could go for no. No, no that won't do. A grade school. We could build a grade school, I guess. Just keep people happy-ish. But then again, we could use clinic as well. I think clinic is probably more important right now. Here we go. I'm planning a clinic right on top of your house. I'm sorry. Um, okay, we got money for another farm, I guess. Yeah, farming is good. Farming is good, okay. Tobacco? Can we do tobacco? No. No. Not a good idea. Bad idea. Okay. Let's see. Let us see. No. I don't think we... Should we go for another farm? A mine? Can we build a mine? What's that? Iron? That's oh, iron. Any gold on the island? None. But iron, nonetheless. That's nice. Two spots of iron. So if we... C yeah, we can clear that out and build mines later. But not now. Not right now. Any oil? Uh, just... Uh, yeah. There's oil somewhere in the ocean. In the ocean! Yeah, the ocean. Now, we're going to build another farm. The just... The question is, what kind? I want bananas. Can I build bananas? Build bananas. Listen to me. Yes, I would like to construct some bananas now. Okay, that's not gonna work too well. Oh wait, this is banana country right back here, but it's being used. Somebody's planted stuff there. Why? Why is that? What is? What is the general idea, man? 
What are you doing building bananas like that? Okay, maybe so, maybe out here somewhere. There we go. Banana farm. Okay. Okay, and we've got a fisherman's wharf here as well, being built. Alright, let's see how this runs. We've got positive cash. It's a good thing, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, we need to do something about housing next time. We've got a chance. Oh, okay. That was quite a bit of money I made. I have no idea. Today we have a special weather report from El Presidente himself. He predicts the night will be calm, starry, and sunny. Remember that our Presidente is always right, even when he's wrong. Yeah. What do you want? I'm busy ruling. Yeah. Make it so. Make it so, amigo. Ole. Oh dear, there go to foreign relations again. Yeah, this is gonna be this way for a while. But, uh, yeah. Checking my phone here. We've got two minutes of gaming time left on this first episode of Let's Play Tropico 3. I hope you've enjoyed it so far, so I'm just gonna wrap it up. Um, yeah, um, so we've got a little uh, island going for us right here. And uh, yeah, I uh, I think we're gonna do well eventually. See how much cash there will be. A thousand, A cool thousand. That's great. And I think next time we play, we'll we will be out of debt. I should also visit this one. What is it now? Make it so. Going for the limo. I actually have a limo now. That's great. Fantastical. Okay. Well, I'll see you all next time when I continue to play Tropical 3. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.